Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to add game passes into your Roblox game. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to want to load up into our Roblox game that we are wanting to add the game pass into. And if you haven't already, make sure to publish your game to Roblox, and you can publish your game to Roblox by going to the top left here, click on File, Publish to Roblox, and you just got to follow the, the uh, steps until you have published your game so to now that we have published our game to roblox what we're going to want to do we want to go to the main roblox page and find our our game that we are going to be adding the game pass into and we want to load up onto that and now we want to click on store down here at the bottom and we want to click on add pass so this means add game pass so you want to add your chosen file so that can either be let's really your game pass logo so now that you have added your chosen file all you want to do is change the name of your game pass so let's say we want to make this a donation game pass okay donation you can just type in a name there then you want to after you've put your file in and you've put your name that you would like your game pass to be click preview this basically gives you a bit of a preview on what your game pass will look like but your game pass logo does have to be approved by roblox before you're able to see it then we want to click on verify upload and as you can see the game pass um set was so now that we have created the game pass all we want to do is click on the game pass name just click on that and this will take us to a separate roblox site now that you have now that we have loaded onto the game pass page we want to go to the three dots up here click configure click sales and we want to switch on the item for sale so it is enabled and you can choose a price that you want to sell the game pass for it is really up to you but for this tutorial i'm just going to be setting the price as five then what you want to do after you have chosen the price of the game pass you want to click save once you have enabled the game pass to be for sale and added the robux price we can leave the game pass for now and then we can come back to it now that you have published your game to roblox what we're going to want to do is make sure explorer and properties are open if explorer and properties are not open we just want to go to the top bar here click view and click down on explorer and click down on properties now that we have explorer and properties open we want to head over to explorer find starter gui click the plus button next to starter gui and click on screen gui then we want to go over to the screen GUI and change that to really anything. You can keep it a screen GUI. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be changing it to Game Pass. Then what we're going to want to do is make sure the Game Pass or screen GUI model is highlighted. Then click the plus button next to uh, Game Pass or screen GUI. And we want to insert a image button. Now that we have added our screen GUI and our image button, we want to click on the image button. Basically, this is now where we can edit the image button, which people will be able to click, which will then allow them to buy the game pass. So you can adjust any settings you would like. I'm just going to be changing the position. So let's find the position here. Position, here we go. We've got the position up here. So you can really change this to any position you would like. It is completely up to you. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this position here. You can feel free to copy all this. It is completely up to you. And then we also just want to resize it. So let's head down to the size area and change that to whatever you would like. So now that we have adjusted the position and the size of what we would like the image to be, we actually need to go find an image. So let's head over to the creator market. So now that we are inside the creator marketplace, all we want to do is go to the top bar here, click on images. And you can really choose what image you would like to use. If you've got your own image, feel free to use that one. But um, let's just say you want to choose an image from here. Let's say you want to put a fish. We just search up fish here. Let's say we select this one. All we want to do once we have selected the image we would like, we go to the top bar here in where the link is. And you want to try find the whole bunch of numbers, the, the asset or image ID. So once you've done that, click on the link, highlight the numbers. We just go control C to copy it or right click pay, uh, copy. Then we want to take that back to Roblox Studio. So now that we have got our image ID, all we want to do is go back to studio, click on image button and find the area where it says image. So just scroll down until you find it. Image, we want to click on the area here 
click backspace to remove the previous image. And then we just want to paste our new image ID using control V or right click paste, paste it in there. And as you can see, my image has loaded into the image button. If you have a circular image like many game passes, what you want to do to remove the outside of any leftover image button, you just want to go to the top here where it has background transparency and just set that to one. But in this image, we do not need to do that because our image takes up the whole of the image button. We want to head over to Explorer, click the plus button next to the image button, insert a local script. Now that we have opened a local script, we want to remove all the previous code and you just want to go down to the description, copy that um, script and paste it into the local script. The script will be down in the description below to make it much easier for all of you. So you just go control C, then control V and paste in the script. Now that we have added the script into the local script, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to head over back to our game pass page here, go to the top link, get the ID from the link, control C and let's head back to Roblox Studio. So now that we have got our ID, all we want to do is go up here, remove this old ID and go control V or right click paste to paste in your new game pass ID. So now that we have added our ID into the script, all we want to do is go to file, publish to Roblox and let's go test. Before we do our test, all you want to do is go to the three dots up here on your game pass page, click the three dots and click delete from inventory. Just because this is a one time purchase, but for now, let's just delete it from our inventory. Because you already have the game pass, it will not us it will not allow us to buy it. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to delete it from your inventory just by clicking the three dots and click delete from inventory. Let's go test it out. So now that we have loaded in, all we want to do to test it out is click on the image. And as you guys can see, the buy donation thing here that people can purchase is popping up onto the screen. Now, once we purchase this, we will not be able to buy it again until we delete the game pass from our inventory, how we did it just before. So let's just click OK. And as you guys see, if I go try click it again, nothing will be popping up because it is a one time purchase item. If you guys are a little bit confused or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.